What's up? Welcome back. Happy New Year. Today we're going to talk about flow compensation in the spine imaging. Let's go. Hey guys, for those who are new, my name is Bakken again. I'm an MRI radiographer and in my channel I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, troubleshooting, tutorials. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So the reason for making this video is because a few months ago there was this post on the social media where they were talking about flow compensation for the spine imaging, especially the outspine. And uh, all these years I thought I was doing correctly, but however, after reading the comments, I was curious and uh, I just had to test it out and uh, it, in the end the results was I was wrong. This guy who gave this comment, he was right. So I want to share with you today what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner. All right, we are live at uh, 1.5 Tesla, but uh, this will work the same on 3T. So I already did a localizer here, which covers the whole spine. So today I'm thinking about taking a standard T2 uh, with and without flow compensation for three regions, L-spine, T-spine and C-spine. So let's go here to flow compensation. And the flow compensation you can find right there. You have the options to take no, read or slice. So we're going to use slice because it's transversal plane. I'm just going to rename this one so it will be easier for us to compare. So we're going to do the same sequence but this time the flow compensation will be off. So take a note that the echo spacing is 10.3 specifically for the sequence but when I turn off the flow compensation Take a look now, it's 8.3, so it reduced the echo spacing. So one of the theory for having sharp images, one of the factors is that the echo spacing should be as low as possible. So this is one of the reasons that I try to avoid flow compensation if I have the opportunity to do so. Also one thing is that uh, using flow compensation can also cause increasing the SAR, especially on 3T. So I was going to rename this one. Flow comp off. All right, let's move to the T-spine. So I'm just gonna reposition this one for the T-spine. And we're gonna do the same sequence here for the T-spine, but also flow compensation off. So let's move to the last part, that's the C-spine. Just gonna rename this one to C-spine. I reposition the region. Okay, let's copy that one. So let's compare these images. We are now at the view mode. So uh, what you see in front of you here is the first image for this the L spine. The first image is the slice flow compensation slice on and the second image is off. So let's compare these two. At first sight it looks particularly the same. I don't see any huge difference here. So uh, for the L spine I'm pretty sure that you can turn off the flow compensation. Let's move to the T-spine, as first image here is flow comp on, second flow comp off. That's a little bit different, but it's not very much. So for the T-spine it's a little bit more difficult. I need to test this out more before I decide to have it either on or off. Seems like the flow compensation having it on it should be a little bit better. I'm not quite sure. Need to test more. Okay, let's move to the last part. That's the C spine. The first image is slice compensation on, second 
off. Again, I'm not quite sure if there are any big differences. So my conclusion for this test are that for the L-spine I'm pretty sure that I could turn it off. For the T-spine and C-spine it's a little bit more difficult, need to test more, but uh, people are saying that it should be on. But it's not big differences here. Well guys, that's it for today. So I hope you learned new stuff today as well. Uh, I did learn new stuff and you will be able to learn new things if you are staying humble and you want to learn new things. So if you live in your own bowl, it will be extremely difficult to, to catch new things and learn new things. So uh, step outside this bubble and uh, open yourself, listen and absorb what is useful and discard what is not. So before we close up, I just have to ask you a question. Do you use flow compensation for the spine imaging? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. I ring on the notification bell so whenever new things from you are coming up, you get a notification. So until next time, I'll see you around. Peace out.